everything and all the excuses that Korean Savage has been making doing damage control after myself and 402 Thunder made videos calling him out for the fact he asked for $100,000 donations to help his sick dad with ataxia and then proceeded less than like a month later to do some kind of flex video with all his wealth and his awesome house and his amazing Corvette and all his cool furniture and 75 inch and 85 inch TVs and all the excuses he's making to cover up the fact that he looks like a complete and utter idiot are nothing more than his 100 110% bull and unfortunately his fan base and a lot of people who watch his videos are young and it's not their fault they're easily led that's just how it is when you're young you're like the breeze you just sort of blow whichever way you get led you're like a puppy dog and you really lack a lot of critical thinking skills for the most part and that's not your fault that's just a developmental thing but every adult and everyone who is ahead of the curve at any age can recognize bull so as it stands right now, his original video, a new house tour and gaming setup tour 2019, the Korean Savage has dislikes and likes disabled and comments are disabled. If you aren't guilty and you don't feel as if things are going badly, then you really wouldn't have to disable likes and dislikes and disable comments for the video. In fact, it might have just been a smarter idea to take the video down because you apologized 20 times in two separate videos and you also changed the title of this video as well. First title was, I'm sorry. Then you changed it to best DLC gun in Black Ops 4. And then you're making this video here, when I broke Black Ops 4, LOL, which is just another video of you trying to make excuses for the fact that you are pretty much incapable of recognizing what is actually going on here, that you actually made a mistake, and that you're actually kind of a scammer. And either you're just an idiot, and you don't realize what the actual problem is here, and why other adults think you look like a complete and utter scam artist, Korean scammer, or you're doing it deliberately and trying to mislead your dumb fan base, which are a lot of young kids, obviously, by the comments. In the dude's first apology video, he literally tries to bribe his fans by doing a giveaway for merch. He asks people to like the video if you want some merch, that's why it's got so many likes, and make sure to leave a comment down below what size you are to offset the negative comments and to offset the likes. Like, this dude is 110 percent a manipulative little bastard. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So before we start this video, I still have a bunch of signed merch to give you guys. These new soul hoodies. I have a bunch. I actually have a separate video that tells you guys the meaning of what new soul means. But I have a lot of signed merch for you guys. I think I have about like 35. Two extra larges, 10 larges, 10 mediums, and like 8 smalls. So if you guys want one, go down below in this comment section. Comment your size. A small, medium, large, extra large, and drop a like. That's all I want you guys to do. Drop a like and drop a comment with your size. And I love the vids man you're keeping me motivated and into this game i'm a size uk extra large bro i'm an extra large i'm bummed that i didn't get your merch but i would love to get some of your merch all right love your vids can't wait to for the new cod con i'm a size large keep up it up okay hey Katie, can i get a sweatshirt size medium god bless oh yeah dab on them haters okay uh there's some stuff i want to talk about so it is currently 3 30 in the morning and i woke up to a lot of controversy on my house tour and trust me i get it guys it looks really weird for me to flex everything that i have in this house Especially when I just okay quick question. Why did you got three gaming chairs? What the hell I do okay like asked for help $65,000 raised with the God bless you guys That is truly amazing, but uh $65,000 raised and it's a little bit weird that I'm showcasing my house Which I promised to show you guys in a future video just to put things out there I bought this house in May and I bought the car back in November and I can't I, I didn't foresee this happening to my dad <laughs> Uh, wrong. Yeah, okay, listen, that's the excuse he keeps using. I mean, that's the excuse he used in this video right here. That's the same excuse. He's like, yo, I bought this car in November and I bought the house in May and then I asked for your money in August. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see it happening. You know, my dad was no, 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 no. That is, that is the, that is the bull. That's the play right there. That's the scam. Listen. And my dad right now lives about 30 minutes away from me. And to be honest, I'm not the best son out there. You know, I don't visit him. I don't talk to him. I don't check up on him, you know. But I just know that he's a very strong person. You know, he has a disability that uh, that is very it, that's affecting his life. You know, he cannot walk, guys. And when I say I'm not exaggerating, he cannot walk for. He can't walk. He can't talk for Jack. He can't. It's very hard for him. But the the thing is that he fights through it, and he's happy inside. And I know he he's he has faith. So there you hear it right there, right? He can't walk, he can't talk, he's sick, he has ataxia. Ataxia is not some kind of sudden onset disease. It's a long, arduous disease. It just, you know, gets perpetually worse. 
there is no cure. There's nothing you can do about it, right? And like I said before, this is not an attack against his dad. It sucks he has this neurological disease. That has nothing to do with that at all. I, I feel bad for his dad, but this is about focusing on the Korean scammer here, okay? Come on now. So like I said, he says in these videos how many times about like, oh my God, I got the house at the end of May. I got the uh, car, you know, sometime in November. And like, I didn't take the $100,000 and spend it on, you know, my, my car and my house and whatnot. And that, that's, that's not a logical response. That's not even an excuse. Like people are trying to say, yeah, okay, cool. Like the whole point here in the argument wasn't the fact that he took $100,000 and bought a house. That's inconsequential. It's inconsequential whether or not he took $100,000 and then bought that house or car. Or he bought his car and house beforehand, like literally two weeks, a month before he begged for another hundred thousand dollars. Like you guys understand that, right? Like, hey, I spent all my money, I went and got a down payment, I got all this cool furniture, got all this stuff. I know my dad's sick, he's had this disease, I don't visit him under his own words of his mouth here from Korean Savage. He's not a good son, I don't visit him, I don't take care of him. And I went and bought all this stuff, and then like two months later, I'm on the internet asking for money. And in fact, he says right here back in June 16th. I would start a GoFundMe to fund some money into more research, but to be honest, I think they need a lot more money since it's a rare disease and there hasn't been a cure for it. I don't know. We'll see going forward. So right here, he's talking about starting a GoFundMe to find a cure. Like he wants to run a GoFundMe to help look for research, which is like an admirable thing. If he said, hey man, do a GoFundMe, it's going all to tax your research. Dope. That'd be awesome, right? But he knew his dad was sick and needed help and he couldn't walk. He couldn't talk. He couldn't do nothing months months and months and years before he came out here asking for the money and months and months and months before he bought his house and car like his dad's been sick for years he's had this disability for a long time and his excuses he's making are just like bull 110 percent shit the dude scammed everybody that's all it comes down to just to put things out there i bought this house in may and i bought the car back in november and i can't i i didn't foresee this happening to my dad where he would need to be transferred to the hospital for over a month and a half now going on two months to the point where he has to have a 24 7 aid and he needs physical therapy at a rehab center i i couldn't foresee that you couldn't foresee that, but you made a video back in June that your dad, as you already said back here, can't walk, can't talk, can't take care of himself. He can't walk, he can't talk. So who, who's taking care of him then? Like he is basically an invalid. He can't take care of anything. He's like basically a paralyzed person. So obviously he has people taking care of him already, but you're saying you couldn't foresee it occurring um, back, you know, how long ago when you bought your house and stuff? Like you guys picking up what I'm throwing down here? Like it's, it's all just fake. It's all just like really bad excuses that would brain dead kids would eat up. Like it's, you could poke holes through this. It's just really, it's, it's like a boat made of straw. It's just blah, sinking. It's dumb. This is so stupid. Listen, I don't like to be that person person that lives in regret and likes to live in like, oh yeah, I could have done this to do things better. But if I could go back, obviously guys, um, the car, me purchasing the car, me purchasing the house, if I knew that this would happen on that day, specifically, I think it was like June 30th or something like that. If I knew this was going to happen to my dad, I wouldn't buy the car. Once again, you knew his body was falling apart. You knew he had a taxia. We can do a simple search. Taxia. This is like the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I, I wouldn't have, I didn't know what was going to happen, guys. I didn't know what was going to go down. I didn't know. I didn't know this is, this is going to be, you know, you need care and whatnot. Uh, is ataxia a progressive disease? A progressive ataxia describes a group of uncommon neurological disorders characterized by problems with balance and coordination. Many general practitioners never come across these conditions during their work lives and are most familiar with ataxia due to cerebral palsy, multiple sclerosis, and stroke. Three patients journey, uh, patient one, I mean like just so much stuff. I mean look what happens. Everyone knows what happens with ataxia. It's super. Box one, some sins of sorts progressive ataxia. Box two, ataxia with vitamin E deficiency. Like it's simple to look, finding help along the way. People have also defined the following as helpful. Getting a diagnosis, sensitive health professionals, contact with other similar positions, carrying a card, explaining the effects, going into a wheelchair after accepting the inevitable. I mean, it's it's like very simple. You don't know what's going to happen. There's like a million articles on the internet. Doctors know about it. Obviously, they would tell you like it's a progressive disease. Your dad has ataxia back at the beginning, middle of June, right at the same time your house and how your mortgage got approved, as you said, on all of these freaking videos right here. It was the middle of June when I got my house approved for the mortgage and I, I could not foresee See what's gonna happen to my dad. Bullshit. Bullshit. You knew exactly what's happened to your dad. You knew exactly what attacks you was. He's had it for years. It's a progressive neurological disease. You knew exactly the road is going down. It's like driving down the road at 100 miles an hour and there's a brick wall coming up there and you're like, oh, I didn't know we were gonna hit the brick wall. Like, duh. Yes, you did. You knew it for a fact. It's it's just all, man, nonsense. It's just nonsense, dude. It's all just bullshit.
this kid, as he self admitted, is a negligent son, and he probably bought all his stuff, got all his money, made all his freaking you know clout, whatever you want to call it, and flex on everybody. And he's super pumped. He's twenty something year old, five foot four virgin Korean kid who probably never had a girlfriend because he's the same size of Oompa Loompa, and you know got his got some swag going and feels pretty awesome. And then as he says right here, never visits his dad, never hung out with him, and then probably felt super guilty after the fact. It's like damn, and it's probably his family's like, you need to take care of this your dad now. He's like, well, how can I take care of my dad? Well. Listen, I guess I could sell off some of my stuff. Well, no, I can't sell off my stuff now, can I? As he likes to say, I, I owe a ton of money on all my stuff. So I can't sell off my stuff. What's the best way to, you know, make amends here? I know how. Because I'm an irresponsible son, what I'm going to do is pass the buck to my fan base, which are mostly kids, and ask for them to help me out because I messed up. If you came out and said that, that, that would be admirable. Why don't you just come out and say, listen, I wasn't a good son. I didn't care about my dad being sick. I went and spent all my money with the, instead of helping him. I didn't want to help him. I didn't care. I didn't visit him. I didn't really have a good relationship with him, so I bought all the my stuff, I spent my own money, and I let my dad suffer, and I didn't really care. And then after the fact, I realized, yeah, my family was telling me how much of an idiot I'm being, I'm being a bad son, and I felt guilty, and I felt bad, but at that point, it was too late because I'm already deep into a mortgage, I'm deep into a car purchase, I've been spending all my money, and I can't afford to you know, sell this stuff now without going bankrupt, and the only way I can get out of this hole is to ask my fans for money. Why don't you just say that? Why don't you just be honest? That's really what happened, because you know what? That, that would be at least admirable. Why don't you just say that I messed up, and I made a mistake, and I needed the money from my fans, because I can't do anything else in my life. There's no other choices. Or if you want to go really negative, which I don't think this is the truth. He took the $100,000 because he could sell off his Corvette. He could sell off his house. He did pay a lot of it with cash. He has a ton of money. He's making a fortune. And he doesn't want to pay out of his own pocket and rather convince and sucker his fans into paying for his dad's care instead of out of his own pocket. That could be the case too. I don't think so, but it could be. Boom. Deuces. There you go. Eight thoughts. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed by now, you're probably an idiot. So turn that ship around. Subscribe. Smash that like button for some free merch. And last but not least and most importantly, stay black. Well, I'm the Honkaker. I'm the Shane Shifter. I'm the Lame Base. 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 I'm the Lame Base.